Hello friends, today we will look one short video about Ecarbos. Ecarbos that is one of the drug or molecule that is used in diabetes mellitus. So what is Ecarbos and what is the role of this Ecarbos in diabetes mellitus that we will look in biochemistry point of view. So basically the main carbohydrate content of our diet or whatever the food stuff we are taking in that main food, main carbohydrate that is starch. So already we are knowing that main polysaccharide that is starch and this starch is digested with the help of amylase enzyme. Amylase that is of two types salivary and pancreatic. So basically this amylase that is helping to digest starch and when this starch is digested what happens that will release glucose in the intestinal lumen and that glucose will be absorbed. But what happens when this acarbose molecule is taken this acarbose is structurally similar to the starch. So it is a structural analog to the starch and being a structurally similar what happened? This amylase enzyme that can also react over the acarbose but that will not release glucose molecule. So this acarbose that is ultimately helping to inhibit action of the amylase enzyme. This amylase that is responsible for release of glucose from the starch molecule. So it ultimately decreases breakdown as well as digestion of the starch molecule and that is main source of the glucose. So therefore less amount of glucose is generated inside the intestine. So that decrease amount of uh, glucose formation in the intestine that is helping to keep glucose level low even after taking off food stop. So even after taking off food stop that glucose will be remain in the form of starch and that will not be absorbed through the intestine. So a carbose is used in treatment of the diabetes mellitus. So that is simple being a structural similar to the starch and that property is used as a treatment purpose of the diabetes mellitus. So that's all about a carbose and that can be sometime asked in the viva or MCQ.